Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to explore some budget friendly whole home Wi-Fi mesh systems for 2024. Specifically we're going to focus on dual band mesh systems. Just because they're budget friendly it doesn't mean they're useless. These options could be good for someone who lives in a medium to large house with internet speeds likely less than one gigabits per second and needing extended Wi-Fi coverage for the entire house without breaking the bank. The wi Wi-Fi mesh systems we will discuss today are not only affordable but they also meet the key criteria of being at least Wi-Fi 6 with the theoretical Wi-Fi speed of at least 3000 megabits per second. Anything less and I wouldn't recommend it in 2024. If you're looking for something faster and more powerful make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss the next video. And if you're in the market for a wireless router rather than a mesh system I've already covered the best Wi-Fi router of 2024 in other videos. Feel free to check that out too. Now before getting into the specific mesh systems, it is very important to understand some key facts about the dual band mesh systems. This knowledge will help you to make a more informed decision and ensure your setup is optimized for the best performance. Dual band mesh systems, which use the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, are a bit older, but they still can be very effective, especially if they're set up correctly. It is very important to know that in a dual band mesh system, if you're using a wireless backhaul, the band used for the backhaul cannot be fully utilized by the client devices, leading to a drop in speed. This happens because the band is now shared between the clients and the backhaul, which is the biggest drawback of dual band mesh systems. But here's the interesting part. If you use a wired backhaul, you can easily fix this issue. In this setup, the Wi-Fi bands are dedicated solely to client devices, allowing their full capacity to be utilized. This makes dual band systems an excellent and cost effective option if you have ethernet wiring around your home or can set it up. However, if a wired backhaul isn't possible, expect some loss in speed and efficiency. There is another hidden advantage in using a wired backhaul. With wireless backhaul, the mesh nodes need to be within wireless range of each other to be able to connect, which limits the coverage area. But with a wired backhaul, the nodes don't need to be within wireless range, so the coverage area can be much larger. So a wired backhaul not only improves speed in a dual band mesh system, but also helps extend the effective wireless range. Understanding these simple yet important points can hopefully help to make your decision to buy a mesh system much easier. Now let's talk about three specific mesh systems. The ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XT5, TP-Link Deco X55, and TP-Link Deco X55 Pro. In terms of Wi-Fi speed, they're all very similar, with the same theoretical speed of 3000 megabits per second. However, they differ in features, ports, and mesh technology. First, let's take a look at the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XT5, which by the way, I have fully reviewed in that video, so check it out if if you want to know all the details. The XT5 uses ASUS WRT firmware, which if you are a regular on this channel, you know is packed with features. It supports the AI mesh system, which is very flexible for ASUS devices. You can integrate many ASUS routers into the AI mesh network. For example, if you already have an ASUS router, you can include it or even use different ASUS whole home mesh devices within the network, which is great. It also includes extensive VPN support, AI protection for advanced security, and the ability to change the operation mode if you prefer not to use it as a mesh system. You can, for example, connect the nodes as access points, which as you might already know, especially if you have watched my previous videos, can offer its own set of advantages. Now, the TP-Link Deco X55 and X55 Pro come with different firmware, so the features are different too. For example, they offer advanced security through Home Shield and VPN support, though not as extensive as ASUS. Still, it is more than sufficient for most average users. However, if we are comparing features, ASUS is overall better. 
Okay, now let's move on to the ports. The Asus XD5 has two Ethernet ports on each node, both 1 gigabits per second. One can be used as the WAN or Internet port on the router, and on the nodes both can be used for LAN. The Deco X55 on the other hand has three 1 gigabits per second ports, one WAN and two LANs on the router, and three LANs on the other nodes, giving it one extra port compared to the XD5. Now the Deco X55 Pro has only two LAN or WAN ports, but both of them are 2.5 gig ports. This is the major difference between the X55 and X55 Pro, which looks great on paper. Obviously 2.5 gig ports are faster, but in reality, considering its Wi-Fi speeds, which are the same as the X55, these ports might not be all that useful for most users. Chances are, if you're buying a dual band mesh system, your internet speed is below 1 gigabits per second so the 2.5 gig ports won't make a significant difference even if your internet speed exceeds 1 gigabits per second the wireless connection on this mesh system is not fast enough to fully utilize it don't be fooled by this theoretical number real world speeds are often much lower typically around half and sometimes even less besides wireless is a shared medium so this speed is divided among all connected devices meaning Meaning not everyone will achieve this speed simultaneously. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that while 2.5 gig ports are great and there's nothing wrong with them, they make much more sense on Wi-Fi routers or mesh systems with more capable Wi-Fi technology. And that brings us to the prices of these mesh systems. At the time of making this video, here are their prices on Amazon. Here's how I would personally decide between these three. If I already have an ASUS router that can participate in the ASUS AI mesh system, I would definitely go for the XD5. It also comes with ASUS WRT features, which are great. Yes, it is the most expensive option, but I think the difference is definitely worth the advantages I mentioned. If I don't have an ASUS router, I would probably lean towards the X55, not the Pro version, mainly because it is much cheaper and has three Ethernet ports, which considering the Wi-Fi speed and everything, makes much more sense to me. So my choices would be these two, and of course I would make sure I can set up a wired backhaul to fully take advantage of the Wi-Fi network for the clients. Now, if I really had to set up a wireless backhaul on my dual band mesh system, I would consider a newer version, the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XD6. Even though it is still dual band, it has a faster 5 GHz network. So if I have to use wireless backhaul and use the 5 GHz band for that, at least this faster 5 GHz band can handle being shared better. And the speed reduction for the clients is less noticeable than with these three. All right, that was it. Some of the, in my opinion, best budget-friendly dual band mesh systems in 2024. Now, whether you are an ASUS enthusiast looking to expand your AI mesh network with the Zen Wi-Fi XT5, or just looking for an affordable mesh system like the Deco X55, there is a great option for everyone. With the Labor Day around the corner, at least in the United States, make sure to check out the video description for the latest prices. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this there are some good deals available now i hope this video not only introduced you to these mesh systems but also provided some useful insights if you found the video useful definitely give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're gonna go through more advanced and much better mesh systems soon thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time